Hey, welcome to Side New with JW. This is the Side New number 78 grandfather's clock. So earlier today, uh, we had to go over to my uh, my father-in-law's mom's house, and uh, we were kind of moving some stuff around. Uh, she's getting a little bit older, and they were downsizing some of the stuff. Well, I guess my wife had talked to her, and uh, she told my wife that you know she was going to give this grandfather's clock to her. So we went over there and picked up this very old, very unique grandfather's clock to bring over to my father-in-law's house. And on the drive back, you know, I was looking at and I was thinking about kind of the, the representation of what this grandfather clock is and the amount of time it's already spent on this earth. And, you know, as it gets passed down from one generation to another generation and, you know, once we pass it on, it's going to go ahead and it's going to tell more time than we will ever be able to spend on this earth. But we are the ones that are on this earth and we are the ones that have this limited amount of time. And really what we want to do with it is you know, be successful. The individual that has, or the individual that is successful and the individual that's not successful, they both have 24 hours in every day. That is, you know, the, the given automatically. What isn't given is the amount of time we spend on this earth, the amount of time, you know, some individuals spend, you know, seconds on this earth, some spend hundreds of years on this earth, uh, or a hundred plus some years on this earth. And really, when, when I go and I pass on, I don't want to just pass on this clock. I don't want to be, that is the only thing, you know, my children get from me, inherit from me. And I'm, and I'm not talking about materialistic type things. I'm talking about non-materialistic type things. I'm talking about, you know, the, the repu, uh, you know, my, my reputation. I'm talking about the inspiration that I provided for them. I'm talking about all of those things that, you know, are, are my legacy just like your legacy like are you going to be able to leave this earth and provide something more than just materialistic type things like a grandfather clock now i'm not, I'm not saying that, that i'm not you know appreciative that that i was given this or anything like that but I'm, I'm saying when i was looking at this clock i was looking at it it was laying down in the back of this truck bed and we were, we were moving it and so we could bring it over here and then you know eventually when we get back put it in our house and get it serviced and get it back to you know a, a beautiful running clock I was looking at it and I was thinking there's so much more that I want to be able to provide than just giving this to the next generation. And really, I mean, I, I know that's I know that's why I do these videos. I know that that is why I continue to do this. But what are you going to leave? What are you going to leave tomorrow? And I, what I mean by tomorrow is tomorrow. So what are you going to leave your children tomorrow? What are you going to leave the next generation tomorrow if you were to go? Are you going to leave it just some type of materialistic thing, some great inheritance? You know, Are you going to leave them with the proper tools to go ahead and be successful because they learn these things from you? And you, you taught them and you coached them and you mentored them and you provided things for them. And, and, I, and I don't mean you gave them everything, but I mean that you provided them with the knowledge and the tools and not just the hand-me-downs and and you know I feel that sometimes you know obviously my son is young but I feel that sometimes I just give and give and give and I and I'm not teaching enough and, and I know these things and I look at these things that I want to be able to do more in that regards and I want to be able to teach him more things so if I was to, to die tomorrow what am I giving him what type of legacy am I leaving not only him, but my other children and, and you, the future. And what are you leaving everyone else? So I really want you to think like the grandfather clock, you know, you, we all have that time. It's all, it's, it's limited. No matter what, we are all going to die. But what are we going to be leaving the next generation? What are we going to leave to the, the generation of tomorrow or a hundred years from now or 10 generations from now? Is your impact going to be felt that much? Are you going to be, you know, like in one of the videos I did a couple of days ago, you know, the Walt Disney where Walt Disney will leave, you know, generations after generations of things to these individuals, this imagination, all of these things. Are you going to be the, the Einsteins of the world? Are you going to be, you know, the mother Teresa's of this world? What are you leaving tomorrow? What are you leaving them? And, and if you look in the mirror and you don't see that you're leaving them something, you might need to go ahead and adjust as, as obvious. And I know I say it a lot and I know I say it, you know, uh, as many or I say it on almost all my videos, you know, you need to adjust. You need to fix that. You need to change something. I am not just trying to leave my children some type of grandfather's clock when I pass on. I'm trying to leave them the, to the, the tools, the knowledge, and you know what? The drive to not only be successful, but to continue on with their own legacies. So they are, you know, 
providing that inspiration and providing the motivation and the dedication to their tomorrow because you know we we know that our time is limited and it's not always going to be there so think about that uh you know realize that and at the end of the day like always adjust if necessary so until my next video i appreciate you watching like it share it comment you know i i don't get as many comments as i would obviously like good or bad so comment let me know if uh you know on point not on point in your in in your opinion and uh, we can always adjust we can look at different things so until my next video thanks for watching decide and do number 78 grandfather's clock